And so if you keep crying, you just end up with a bigger and bigger ball of water in your eye. Of course there's crying in outer space, but who knew it was such an otherworldly experience? Luckily for us, International Space Station Commander Chris Hadfield breaks it all down for us in this video. Sure, we already know that in space no one can hear you scream, though that's only outside of the capsule. Inside the capsule, or aboard the International Space Station, you can play a little guitar or play a little flute. Sounds travel just fine, but it all takes some getting used to due to the low gravity environment. See, astronauts aboard the International Space Station are positioned roughly 230 miles, or 370 kilometers, above the Earth's surface. Here, they're significantly less bound by Earth's gravitational pull, so there's a good bit of floating around. This makes the simplest of task, like nail clipping, a rather different ordeal. As Hadfield demonstrates, you have to be extra careful lest your clippings float off and collide with a few of your co-workers' faces. And when water's involved, low-gravity personal hygiene is even crazier, because up here water floats around in globs or astropuffs, and they behave rather differently than water down here on Earth. As demonstrated in this NASA video, you can even lasso a glob of water and tether it to one spot. That means hand washing and bathing becomes an entirely different proposition, involving squeeze tubes of no-rinse body bath, a floating liquid ball, and a good old-fashioned towel. And when we cry, well, down here on Earth, those tears stream down our face, dragged down by gravity through our mascara to drip down into a comforting pint. Ice cream or beer, your choice. As Hadfield demonstrates, space crying is a whole different kind of emotional mess. Gravity isn't strong enough to pull your tears down your face. So instead, they just glob up, pooling there in your eye sockets till you shake them away like a wet dog. It's like Dante and Virgil's visit to hell in Inferno. Down on the frozen lake of Cocytus, the damned are up to their necks in ice with their faces turned up. So when they weep for their sins, tears pool in their eye sockets, freeze, and the water expands, adding even more torment. So there you have it. You can have an emotional outpouring in space, but those tears will stick to your eyeballs. And this is something we hadn't really thought about before. What other random snapshots from your daily life would be super weird in space? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.